Welcome to the hit new game show. Tis the season where two teams of players compete in nonsensical trivia questions unrelated to anything of importance in hopes to win prizes, medals, trophies, and merchandise of yours truly while raising money for local effort of families in the process. I'm your host, Mr. Marzok, and here is... Tis the season. The rules are simple. I'm going to ask questions related to absolutely nothing and are frankly pointless. However, the team that answers those questions correctly first will win the round with 300 points. However, if you answer incorrectly, you will lose 300 points and look like a cotton-headed ninny muggin. So, answer carefully. Additionally, these questions have absolutely nothing to do with Christmas or any other holiday for that matter. And lastly, teams must wait until I say the entire question before they can answer. Are we ready to play? Tis the season. All right, everybody, and welcome back here to our last game of round two. Let's reintroduce our team, shall we? So over here we have... Melinger's Mighty Menorahs. Featuring... Ben Yankowski, Ben Berkey, Austin Thompson. Yes, let's give him a round of applause. Excellent. And then over here we have... Mr. McFarland. <laughs> okay, featuring... 212 Days of Christmas. Yes, and... James Ellis. Bryn Lavin, Lily Montgomery. All right, let's give them a round of applause and let's get this game started. Here we go. Your 12 drummers drumming question is as follows. Find the right Nietzsche featuring Justin and Kelly. Are we ready? Which Kelly Clarkson song would Frederick Nietzsche probably sing at karaoke because he basically said the same thing? Since you've been gone, get up a cowboy anthem, Stronger What Doesn't Kill You, Mr. Know-it-all, you have ten. All right, the correct answer is stronger. What doesn't kill you is correct. No points awarded. Here we go. Eleven pipers piping. Here goes. I'm the absolute worst with responding to e but not as bad as my mummy. Huh? If there was an e bike to the Monster Mash, then who responded as not attending? Frankenstein, Dracula, Wolfman, or Dracula's son? Dracula's son. Dracula's son is incorrect for minus 300. You have 10. Yes. Wolfman. Wolfman is incorrect also for minus 300. The correct answer is Frankenstein. Frankenstein. Ben, Lords of Leaping, here we go. Did you know that now they're creating tropical fruit loops? Uh -huh. Now I have yet to try. Oh, you have. There you go. See, see, you know. However, I am super excited to try them myself. All right, but I wouldn't be surprised if they're pretty awful. Toucan Sam, though, however, always says just follow your nose. So, which ancient statue would find this idea useless? The thinker, the great sphinx, the Venus, the Milo, or Michelangelo's The Great Sphinx. The Great Sphinx, I heard over there first for 300 points. That is correct, the Great Sphinx. Nine, ladies dancing, here goes. Let's say Texas finally becomes its own independent country and constructs a wall around its entire border, kind of like President Trump wanted to do with our entire country. Considering the state isn't touching, or considering the states it's touching, what justification would you Probably not here. I'll, uh, it'll keep out those dang Louisianans. It'll keep out those doggone New Mexicans. It'll keep out those shifty Kansasans. It'll keep out those free-loaded Oklahomans. Yes. It'll keep out those shifty Kansasans. That is correct. It'll keep out those shifty Kansasans. It is correct for plus 300. Eight maids of milking. Here goes. I'm not a huge fan of Monopoly. However, I absolutely hate the different versions of Monopoly, like Dogopoly or Star Wars Monopoly. Oh, he likes Star Wars, so he must want Star Wars Monopoly, said no one ever. Okay? Suppose Hasbro comes out with an alternative version of the game Monopoly called Oligopoly. How many winners should there be per game? Should there be none? One, more than one, but not too many, or hundreds of thousands of winners. Right over there? Hundreds of thousands of winners is incorrect for minus 300. Yes. More than one, but not too many. More than one, but not too many is correct. That is the correct answer for 300 points. Yeah. Yeah. 
The seven's going into swimming. Here goes. One person's trash is another person's treasure. Puff Daddy, Bat Black, and Mark Anthony all have one thing in common. They're all this Jennifer's leftover trash. Jennifer Aniston, Jennifer Lopez, Jennifer Love Hewitt, or Jennifer Lawrence. Jennifer Lopez is correct for 300 points. All right. Six geese laying. Here goes. No one reads the comic strip in the paper anymore. It used to be a big deal back in the day. Sadly, not anymore. Which of these comic strip characters would be able to rent an apartment with a no pets allowed policy? Would it be Dilbert, Charlie Brown, Little Orphan Annie, or Calvin? Yes. Dilbert. Dilbert is incorrect for minus 300. Calvin? Calvin is correct because oh, Hobbs is a stuck boy. That is correct. Scrap for positive 300 over there. Here's your time to catch up. Five golden rings. Here it goes. This is your this or that question. It is a toughie. Here it goes. Is it a country song or or is it a Kentucky Derby winner? A country song or a Kentucky Derby winner? All right, are we ready? Country song or Kentucky Derby winner? Ready? Get set. Delta Dawn. I heard over there first. Country song to scream out the answer. That's 300 over there. It's okay. Thunder Bulge. That is correct for 300 points over in their team. All right, next up, Grindstone. That is incorrect for minus 300 points over there. That was a Kentucky Derby winner. All right, next one. On Rule Dying Point. That is correct. We heard here first for 300 points. Sunday Silence. I heard Kentucky Derby winner over here first. That is correct for positive 300. Mind that bird. That is incorrect for minus 300 points. That is Kentucky Derby winner. Here's a quarter. That is incorrect for minus 300. It was a country song. All right. All right. Four mind birds. Here we go. It's time for everyone's favorite question. Elephant, Mustard, Teddy Roosevelt, or Dracula! Alright. One of these is the correct answer. Here goes. Alright. A symbol of faith. Yes, elephant. An elephant is incorrect for minus 300. You have 10. Mustard is correct for 300 points. I hope it's not right. Oh, but who knows these days? Here we go. Three French hens. Here it goes. A picture says a thousand words, but a name literally says one word. Their name. Here it goes. Based solely on his name, who would be most likely to rap about DNA molecules? Would it be Wiz Khalifa, T.I., Jay-Z, or 2 Chainz? I heard over there first, he smacked yeah, it, that is correct, for two chains, that is 300 points. Alright, your two turtle doves question, here goes, I am a Rosetta Stone, goo goo ga -choo. Which of these could not be a foreign language translation of the Beatles song, Hello, Goodbye? Are you ready? Chow Chow, Aloha Aloha, Konnichiwa Konnichiwa, or Salud Salud? I heard of it first. Konnichiwa, Konnichiwa is correct. It would technically be Konnichiwa's hygiene would be the correct way of saying that. That's correct for 300 points, taking us to our last question. Here goes our last question. All right, this could be for the marbles. Here we go, your clue. I built this with my bare hands. I built this with my bare hands. All right, so remember that as you're looking at the board with all the clues. Some of them are right, some of them are wrong. Are you ready? I built this with my bare hands. Ready? Red shirt, no pants. I heard over there for 300 points. Brown hat, polka dot tie. Fozzie bear. bear is correct for 300 points. Green fedora, necktie. I heard over there first for 300 points. Flex of toilet paper. Charming bears. That is correct for 300 points. Green overalls. Corduroy is correct for 300 points. Blue coat, red hat. That is correct for 300 points. Blue jean suspenders. That is incorrect, minus 300. That is correct for 300 points for their team. Let's tally it up and see who won. Yeah. And it looks oh, like the shape of part of the team moves on to the next round. But, yeah. all right, however, we need to see.
see how much money everyone raised to see who might be getting another donut party. So, over here, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so, did you raise any more money from the last time? We don't know. We don't know. <laughs> what did they have the last time? $55. They had 55 the last time, and Mellinger has? 210. <laughs> Looks like they're winning the donut party this time, so everyone is talking about the winners today. So some of you we will see in round three and others we will have even more donuts coming their way. Thank you to everyone for playing and we'll see you next time.